Today we are in Florida, right next to the beach. We have our own private dock in the backyard overlooking the marshlands, and we're visiting the Shire, this beautiful Airbnb that I know you're gonna love. So let's go check this place out. Today we are finally visiting Florida. I've been wanting to visit this beautiful state on my channel for so long and we finally made it to St. Augustine. This is the oldest city in America and we're staying here at the Shire. This is a beautiful Airbnb and this location is just perfect. There's privacy, there's the beach, and we have a dock in the back overlooking the beautiful marshland and I just couldn't ask for a better spot than this place. The hosts renovated this home, originally built in the 1930s. They gutted it and made the interior very, very beautiful. But anyway, whenever you pull up on the property, immediately you'll notice the privacy, the trees, and just the overall surrounding is just beautiful. This front side has a brick driveway that leads up to the house, which is very luxurious. There's wooden doors everywhere. The tiled roofing and the white exterior just fits in the Florida aesthetic very, very well. We can walk up on this door over here and check out what the inside is all about. Walking inside, this front door is beautiful. Wooden front door on this side, they painted it black over here, and they have an antique style handle. Functional, it is really cool. Fits well with the home. And then when we walk in, we're immediately in your kitchen space. The aesthetic of this home is bright and beautiful. The section to my right has your oven down here and a stove top to cook with built into the countertop. This looks like marble countertop and it goes all the way through up um, with the range hood and they bordered the range hood with this rustic old wood. Looks great. And then over here we have your L-shaped kitchen area. Both windows facing out into uh, the nature. You can see the pier from this window and the marsh. Beautiful views. And then your full-size refrigerator over here. Lots of cabinets underneath. You got the Z-Line microwave under here, which is really handy. Coffee supplies, plenty of countertop space, apron front sink with gold faucet. It just all looks amazing. That is everything with the kitchen space. Now we'll walk through this beautiful archway and this leads to your living room area. This is the most beautiful area of the home because you have this entire wall of floor to ceiling windows with the beautiful archways, something we haven't seen before. That is such a unique detail with these windows and they all look out into the marsh and you can see your pier out these windows and it just lets in a lot of great natural lighting in here. Can't get my eyes off these windows, they look so good. And then this first section here is your dining table, a round dining table tucked in this corner with a chandelier above it, right next to the kitchen, really easy access. And then your living space, you got a really large comfortable couch here, and then there's a couple other seating options in front of that. And this all faces your frame TV mounted on the wall over there. And it looks like there used to be a fireplace over here, but they just remodeled it with a blue tiling and just some decorative pieces. Pieces, it looks really good if you ask me. They left the ceiling exposed as well so you got the wood planks above us and the wood beams going across. It all looks incredible. They even have an Alexa. Tell us a joke about Florida. Where can Florida sunbathers go to avoid getting burns? The panhandle. <laughs> Boo Alexa! Tell better jokes. <laughs> and now off the living room we got the stairs that go to your bedroom and bathroom. Oh! Oh my god. Are you okay? But I really did hit my head yesterday. <laughs> Those are tight stairs. They are tight stairs. Show me how you have to walk down them naturally. I basically have to limbo. <laughs> I'm a limbo champion. That is awesome. I also wanted to point out that the tiling on these stairs matches the tiling that is over on the fireplace. So that is good detail. Yeah, let's head upstairs. I literally just hit my head after <laughs> recording that. <laughs> oh man. 
Up these stairs, we've got the bedroom to my left and then the bathroom on my right. This bathroom is beautiful. The white tiling everywhere on the floor. We got a shower over here with the French door glass. It is really cool on the white tiling in there. Exposed wood lofted ceiling. They even have a really nice cabinet to store your towels and everything and then your small sink in front of this window. There's also another window in here in the shower. They had the window kind of a waist level, which is really interesting. Haven't seen anything like that before. Normally it's head level, but I'm sure with the roof, they had to put the window a little bit lower. It's all frosted over, so uh, you can't really see out of it, but it lets light in, which is nice. So overall, a really spacious, uh, beautiful bathroom. And on the other side is your main bedroom. The bed is tucked in the corner, and there are corner windows in here, which is a cool feature. You can overlook into the marsh, and there's just a few decorative pieces, exposed ceiling with the beams ahead, a chandelier, and there's just a simple, nice bedroom. But the best part is that there is a doorway that leads out to the rooftop deck. The doorway is 80 years old and has original stained glass in it, which is a cool feature. Isn't that beautiful? And even the handle. It's awesome. Matches the one uh, downstairs, the main door. Now here, we got the rooftop deck seating. It's a little bit rainy today, unfortunately, but that's okay. String lights above us. I really like the checkered design on the floor, uh, but we get great views of the marsh in front of me, your dock. You can watch the sunrise over the ocean. I can literally see the Atlantic Ocean uh, from here, so that's how close we are. There's stairs that lead down to the main area, but we got one more area of this house left, and that's the downstairs. Off of the kitchen, we have one more area through this archway. We'll walk down these steps, and there is a bedroom and bathroom down here as well. The backspace is your bedroom, and this is where on the outside you see those wooden garage doors. Well, this is where your bedroom is at, and they bolted the garage doors in here. They look really cool, and this is just a minimal bedroom. You'll be sleeping here, plenty of space to store your luggage. Then there's your bathroom through this door, but it's not just your bathroom, it's also your laundry room. Washer and dryer in here, farmhouse sink in the middle, and then you got your toilet on this left side, so it's just a half bath, which is nice to have paired with this bedroom. Whenever you're done inside, we can head out to the back patio space. This is where I spent a lot of my time, specifically on the dock. But this middle window is actually your back door from the living room, so really easy access out here. And there's brick paved everywhere. There's plenty of seating options, a dining table, some chairs to relax at, and they even have the luxury of a hot tub out here tucked around these trees. And then my favorite part is this dock. It extends probably 100 feet out into the marshland. The walkway is roped with the wood pillars and we finally make it to the end. This is covered, so even in the rain, you can sit out here and enjoy your time or if you just don't wanna get blasted by the sun, which is really nice, a wood bench, some seating here. And you can walk out to the edge and overlook the marsh. There's birds everywhere, there's fish everywhere. And we can take a look back at our Airbnb and just admire how beautiful it is, the arched windows, the rooftop deck. This is just one of the most beautiful Florida houses that we have driven past in my opinion. Since we are in the oldest town in America, there is clearly a ton of stuff to do here. Let's go check some of that out. I stayed in St. Augustine for about three weeks and did everything there is to do in the area. And here are my top choices that you can do while staying here. While we're in the downtown St. Augustine area, there is of course shopping, walking around, lots of cool buildings to explore. The streets are narrow and that's just all fun to look at. The buildings, of course, you got the Flagler Museum, which is beautiful, the Leitner Museum, which is beautiful, and there's also the most beautiful street voted in America here, actually. This is Magnolia Avenue, beautiful live oak trees with the moss all around it. Also in the downtown area, there's the fort. You can't miss this, it's a national park. You can walk in and explore the whole fort. It's large, you can spend a couple hours here, and you just can't miss this while being in St. Augustine. Also close to the downtown area is the alligator farm. Savannah and Weston and I loved this. They have every species of crocodile and alligator here. It's the only place in the world that has all of them. And you can definitely spend several hours here exploring the place. Stepping outside of St. Augustine just a little bit, there is Fort Matanzas National Monument. Now this one is free and you get a ferry ride to the island, which is really cool. And this is just a small fort that protected St. Augustine and you get to spend about an hour here. Really fun area. And of course you have all the beaches uh, to walk around and swim at. 
Butler Beach is a really good one, or Mickler's Landing, they have a lot of shark teeth. And then last on the list is the Lighthouse. You can climb up this 200 and some steps all the way to the top. It's still operating and it's just beautiful. It's really fun to climb it and you get great views while you're at the top. It is extremely windy when you're up here, but the views are unbeatable and the time is just really fun. Now, if I'm gonna suggest some food spots, I highly suggest St. Augustine Fish Camp. That was really fun. And A1A Burrito Works. Guys, these are the best tacos I've had in my life. These are my top choices while visiting in St. Augustine. Stuck at the drawbridge. What are they drawing? A bridge. Real quick, if you want a chance to stay here yourself, which I know you do, this place is awesome. I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram, so click the link down in the description for that. Check that out. You might get a free weekend here to come enjoy the Shire. Thank you guys for watching this video. Check this place out, and I'll see you guys next week in another Airbnb tour. Oh my god! <laughs> Justin, why are you in here with your clothes on? <laughs> We're supposed to be inside. <laughs> Filming. You recorded me pee.